The Sickle Boys are back. <sighs> and it's time. <laughs> What do you have? <laughs> I have a pair of pruners and a knife. This is the real tool, the baby sickle. Jacques's got some sort of makeshift contraption, but yeah, today we'll see. on the channel, we are gonna be harvesting the wheat and turning this entire field into some delicious baked goods. All right, Jacques, last year we planted the winter wheat yep. over there and we had maybe this much. So <laughs> yeah. now we have a lot more. It is all dry, it's ready to go. We could probably even thresh and winnow it if we wanted to, but I've got my sickle. I'm just gonna cut these into little bundles. You have some pathetic contraptions. Might, right might there. do a little combo here. <laughs> it's like Edward Scissor hands <laughs> over here. So I'm just gonna come in. Uh, this part obviously was watered a little bit less. Yeah, it sure looks like but it. But we're just gonna grab little bundles here. It is so satisfying to hold a sheath of wheat you grew yourself. There's a level of primality. Yeah. I mean, come on, like. I mean. How many friends do you have that have held this that's homegrown? Honestly, I haven't held one myself until last year. The next step of this process is to basically put them in a burlap bag and beat the hell out of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's called threshing. So you're trying to separate the actual wheat berry from the seed head. And after that point, you, you're not even done. You have another piece of the process to go through. I don't and know if the knife's cutting or if I'm just breaking it, but it's working. As long as you feel like you're doing something, <laughs> I'm pretty content. <laughs> what are the changes we made to the wheat crop this year compared to last year? This year, we did it in rows. It's hard, it might be hard to tell, I don't know, but I think there's four rows. We sort of furrowed it out. Yeah, we broke up the soil more this time. And then um, we made sure to irrigate. This was all topsoil that was moved exactly. around from the Epic Pond build, which is really easy to compact down. And I think, you know, some growth happened and then it just compacted down and it kind of right. couldn't really do much after that but still better, I mean. Yeah, I mean, this had zero compost or anything. It was just pure, pure fill dirt. Pure basically. natural. I'll just tell you this. If you come up on my crop, <laughs> you're gonna get cropped. You're gonna get chopped. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say dropped. <laughs> but if you come up on my crop, you're gonna get dropped. What did I beat you in last year? Wheat, definitely the wheat. This year I got you on brassicas. Except for cauliflower, I'll take that one. Yeah, you got, well, I got some good ones, you but you had, you had the ones. cheddars, which were better. Yeah. You got me last year, I, I wanna say on tomatoes, probably. Yeah, and then on peppers, I think we both kinda... We both failed a bit on peppers. We could do a little better this year. Uh, potatoes, I mean, come on. I think we know the... Uh... I think we know I got that one. <laughs> Look at this one. These are some good heads. Yeah, that's a good one. I feel like it's good. Bob is finally coming over to check it out. <laughs> Make sure we're doing it right. Hey, she's like, you're taking away all of my hunting habitat. My habitat, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at her. Is she getting in there? She's like, don't thresh this part. I'm sorry, but it's coming out. Nothing personal, Bobka. Somewhere else, please. Now she's playing. Okay. <laughs> she really doesn't want this to go. She's like, please, don't do it. <laughs> oh, you're gonna come in hard, huh? I'm coming in real good. Ready? Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's obviously. A little bit of teamwork. It's obviously dramatically faster. Right. You Innovating. should have done this the whole time. <laughs> it was more fun though. Yeah. So what we're gonna do now, guys, is we are gonna let it sit before we go through the threshing process, but I just wanna clean up some of these edges and actually split these into proper sheaths, which are basically, I don't know, about like a mason jar diameter worth of a bundle. One clean chop per. There we go. That's Not pretty, super clean, but sharp. <laughs> it worked. So there's a nice bundle. That's a nice sheath right there. This is what we got, guys. We're gonna let this dry. Just make sure everything's sort of out of it for the next couple days. And then we'll be back to beat our wheat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Old Daddy Grains is here. <laughs> so this is the wheat that we harvested. It's been uh, maybe a week, I would say. Yeah. And looks... dried out, looks quite good. What we need to do now is take it off the sifter and we're gonna put basically the edges or the tips, if you will, <laughs> into a burlap sack and then beat it, okay? <laughs> we could probably put more in, honestly. Yeah. So, I mean, I'll just show you a sense of what ends up happening here. You get tons of these. And as you can see, you might say, oh, it's blowing away, Kevin, you're, you're losing it all. Actually, that's the point because what you're left with are the wheat seeds. So basically, we're just removing everything but that and then we'll go nice. through a winnowing process after that. A little bit of... Um, <laughs> <laughs> 
Those wheat drums. <laughs> I'm playing the drums of war here. <laughs> I'm just in the mode. Like when you get in, you're in. And I'm locked and loaded, baby. You might think this one's not done yet, but actually there's only one or two wheat seeds that have not been removed from this. The rest, they're actually empty. So Jacques, Honestly, when, you, that's pretty good. when you look at it, you're kind of looking for the tops to be a little yeah. broken off. And then like the problem is still, you're still gonna miss some. Some of it. Another way we could have done this, or we could try to do this going forward, is we could do the process of literally clipping. Yeah, like most of it maybe. We could clip most off. I mean, this is pretty good. It's like, pretty good. In terms of it's how much good. effort we wanna put into it. We did our little learning round. We didn't put that much in. Yeah. Why don't we adjust for the next time? Okay. And try we'll let these different. ones go. There's still, of course, some that we didn't get, but you know, what are we gonna do? Get every single grain, guys, come on. Honestly, this is like 95%. I'd say 95. Which is pretty good. Pretty good. Why don't you uh, give it all a pick up? And... How about this? How about this? He's so ungrateful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it to rip open. That's yeah, my I was, I was scared. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna like yeah, yeah. scatter. Okay, okay, okay. Anyway, we're probably good. Okay, so now it's the grand reveal. Pop the bag upside down. Oh, you hear that? I heard that. You hear that little that little clink? The clink of the berries. That's a clink of a winter's heart. <laughs> getting roasted. I'm a little downwind. I'm getting winnowed over uh -oh. here. Uh-oh. Sounds like we got some. Dude, I'm hearing some gold at the bottom of the river. It works. Now you might be saying nothing's happening, you're literally wasting 100% of your effort, but take a look. The concentration is getting higher of the seeds. There's actually a lot down here, kind of. Look at that. That's some wheat. It's hefty in the hand, I mean, it's, it's there. It honestly feels really good. That currency right there. Let me get that. Yeah. <laughs> the hey, sprinkles. Guys, it's five o'clock. Jacques needs his popper's wages. <laughs> Go on home now, boy. <laughs> One pancake. <laughs> Let's see if we can beat our puny record from last year of basically harvesting a half pound of wheat, to be honest with you, because we yeah. lost, to be fair, one in, one out. we lost half to the mold and we lost the other half to being clowns at growing it and just not knowing what we were doing. So this has been teared out or zeroed out. What's your guess? I'm gonna say 575 grams. 575? I'm saying a pound and a half. All right. Whatever that is. So here we go. That's like 700. Oop. All right, so 200, 300, 400, 600, 900, Oh, <laughs> 975? two full pounds. 2.29 ounces. That is? 4X? At over 4X, <laughs> if you need some guys to help you grow some grains, <laughs> give us a call. That's all I gotta say. We're back at the Nutramill station. If you remember from our first bread video, honestly, one of the most fun experiences I yeah. think I've had growing to kitchen, and we're doing it again right now. Okay. All right. <sighs> Grind them. I might need to start it off. Let's see what we got here. Let's just take a quick look. Oh, yeah, that's there whole you go. Wheat. That's whole wheat right there. You can see the uh, the germ, the, the browner stuff is clear. the germ. Yep, yep. Back in. Probably about 10 minutes. Yeah, it's gonna take a little bit, a bit of time. Can you smell it? I can smell it. Can you smell it? Yeah. Okay, the moment of truth, baby. You see baby. that brand. Oh my God. Dude, that's a, a lot of that's flour. That's a lot of flour. Taste it. I mean, that's whole wheat. You gotta taste it. Little drop. Tastes like wheat. Honestly, it tastes good. Actually, it does. It tastes good. So this was winter wheat, right? This is winter wheat. Out, yeah. This is winter wheat. A little arduous process, but we are at the point where we can now take it in and bake some bread. It's a new day. We have some sourdough starter from Chris on our team. What do we have here? I think it's a, what did you call it? A I'll Yuki, let you say it. It's a Yuki G, Yukon gold potato. <laughs> What are we gonna make? Well, Jacques, why don't you grab one of these leeks oh, and I'll do the same. Don't mind if I do? I'll do the same. I think this one looks. There you go. So, why are we doing this? Why do we have the sourdough starter? 
some Yuki G potatoes and some leeks. We're actually gonna get a couple heads of garlic. Why? Because we're making potato leek focaccia. <laughs> focaccia. <laughs> With a P. Focaccia. <laughs> potato focaccia, okay? You might be wondering why we're roasting garlic. It's because this is gonna be the most flavorful focaccia. Oh, yeah. sorry. Focaccia that <laughs> we have. Watch your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> So we're gonna weigh out some starter and some water and salt and mix that all together until it's like a slurry. And then yep. we're gonna throw that fresh, fresh milk flour. And then after it's combined fully, uh, we'll let it sit for like 30 minutes and then start folding it. Mm -hmm. What I'm gonna do is just come around and just do a little folding as per the Garden Hermit's instructions here. It's very stretchy still. That's good. Or it's very pliable, excuse me. And we're gonna hit it with couple tablespoons of our olive oil. Actually, we're gonna drain the, drain the jar. Like yep. And then we'll add more later too. Totally. Okay, there's that. Now we just gotta cover it up with a damp towel. All right, we'll see you soon. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We're back, it's been maybe four hours. Something like that. So let's take a look inside and see what we've got going on. I would say it is definitely moving. Yeah. As in rising. You can see there's definitely some more air bubbles in here. It's got but some spring back. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So Jacques has done a little research and for our pocaccia, what we're gonna do is we're buttering this tin. Yeah, this, it's because it's, it's glass. If you were using metal, you could go straight in with oil, but with glass, since it's cold at the beginning, the bread might stick, but the butter will stay. So, that's so I'm trying to butter. do up the corners too? Yeah, like yeah. the walls. Okay, so now we need to take the dough out of its current holding place. Oh, nice. It is actually separating pretty well. That's good, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think we probably could have put a little extra flour, but... We probably could have. <laughs> All right, that's good enough, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what am I doing now? I would plop it in to get it a little oily. A little so. bit of that plop. And then... It smells like sourdough though, for yeah, sure. Yeah, that's great. So now we're doing just some... Some, some folds, make it folds. kind of a rough square rectangle. Okay, so we're gonna go a little bit of that. Oops. <laughs> that's not, it wasn't bad, right? No, it was a good yeah, yeah. A little fold, I mean... I think you could that. probably... Hold on, hold on. Just experience this. <laughs> <laughs> let me actually get a little feel there. Yeah, it yeah, feels yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. And we're gonna just let it rise and spread at the same time until it roughly forms the shape of the pan. We're back, it's 5 p.m. now. We started this at 9 a.m. <laughs> yeah, it's a full with day. With a single Yuki G. So I've got my, my uh, Kevlar cutting gloves on. We're gonna go half moons on the mandolin. Yeah, so, the idea being that if it's not thin, they're not gonna cook in the same time as the bread. Yeah, and the mandolin is absolutely perfect for consistency there. So just coming on down the mountain. There she goes. I mean, that's pretty good, right? <laughs> I think that's pretty good. We've got our Yukon Gold half moons. What do you think of the thickness? I think that will cut. It's probably I fine, think that's right? Fine. Especially well, since they're fresh potatoes. How long are we baking the 30 bread minutes. for? 30 minutes. Oh, that'll definitely yeah. cook, yeah. By the way, thank you for this salt, guys. This salt is amazing. So I'll hit it with a little bit of that, probably. Ooh, probably hmm. enough. A little salt bay. <laughs> this stuff here, it says Trader Joe's black peppercorns, but it's actually not. It's that Tella Cherry black oh, pepper. Oh, nice. So we're going full gourmet here. And then we gotta hit it with... Oh, the ooh. secret. That was not in any recipe. This is a custom. This is custom. And honestly, let's think about this real quick. What isn't homegrown in here? Absolutely nothing. Actually, yeah. Absolutely 100%. nothing besides the, the salt. <laughs> this is the most homegrown recipe I yeah. think we've ever made. That's, a, that's more of a proper prepared thing. Yeah. Right? 100%. The only thing that isn't is the olive oil and the just literal seasonings. Okay, now, are you ready for this? Because yeah. this is satisfying. Let's come in on that. A little bit of that. I actually don't like what I I actually is. don't like what I just saw. <laughs> I'll tell you this, feels good to do. Feels good to do, you wanna do one? I don't think I do. Ooh, it's kinda of satisfying. It honestly looks Play -Doh absolutely vibe. disgusting. <laughs> yeah, the color is not It good. reminds me of those like videos where people will pop pimples and stuff. Uh. So officially, this might be the first recipe we've ever made. Yeah. Because this is a hybrid of different recipes. It's true. Po Kacha. I'm all oiled up. Well, all right. I'm, I'm gonna taste the concoction too. Oh. Dirty. That is bliss. All right. Let's see it in 30 minutes. 
Okay, it's been five more minutes. I think we're done. Ooh, look at that. Let's give it that. It smells amazing. Let's give it the poke test. Ow, that's actually really hot. It's poking off a little bit more. Like it's coming back a little bit more. It's rebounding a little bit more. I feel like it's, it's got the browning edges. Jacques just ran back to his house real quick, so maybe we'll let it cool. We'll wait for him to come try it. The moment of truth. Come on over and enjoy, Jacques. I didn't go far. <laughs> By the way, this is what Jacques actually threshed from the last little bit. He actually got enough to probably make, oh, I don't know. Like I think a... I got breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. he, got, he got his pay for the next day. Do you want to do the honors? Do you want to do a cut? Uh, if I'm cutting, I'm cutting myself a big piece, so maybe you should. <laughs> okay, I'm going to come in. I'm going to come here, okay? All right. That's a, that's a reasonable slice. It's going to get cut in half. So that side's mine, or? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the first thing we need to do is take a look at that crumb. Oh, actually, it's really Actually solid. pretty good. Because focaccia, you don't always go whole grain. This is better than we did last time, for totally. sure. Last time we had the interior be a little bit... We don't talk about it. A little... Yeah, you know, a little moist. Okay. Fully homegrown. Oh, it we smells give it that. really good. I could smell the thyme and the leeks. Well, boop. <laughs> bon appetit, though. <laughs> it's really good. You know it's good. When I just went in, before I my mouth even closed around the bite, eyes wide open. Dude. Really good. Actually so good. This is the official first recipe of the Epic Homestead right here. Pocaccia bread. And the potato is actually really good on there. Yeah, Yukon Gold. Wow. It's baked through, but the garlic on top gives it that pasty mm -hmm. sort of chewy. Really good chew. Wow. Do you think we have a talent for baking? Because we go in blind and we come out golden. Let's just say I know we have a talent for <laughs> 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 Well, I've never had focaccia like this. I've, I've never focaccia. <laughs> Excuse me, don't ever call it by its it's not true name. <laughs> Guys, we'll actually make this a recipe, I suppose, and we will put this up on the Epic Gardening blog for you guys. I highly recommend this. This is it's absolutely delicious. Thank you for joining us on this wheat growing journey into a delicious focaccia loaf. Until next time, good luck in the garden and keep on growing. <laughs>